Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Brigadine. Um, we're on now the month one of year 219, so we've been at this war for like four or five years now or so, give or take. Um, so, where we last left off, we've just been beating up Escaras left and right. Uh, things kind of sped up because we are taking two cities at a time instead of just one. Um, so the plan now is going to be taking Castle Logras. I've already went to attack phase, and I'm already... okay, I'm not need to do that. Let's go ahead and get ourselves going. We'll be attacking with Leoness and Balin only. Uh, there's no point in attacking with anyone else. Uh, Combat-wise, we got to deal with Melet, Gish, and Zemeckis. So we're going to deal some heavy stuff here. But overall, I'm not that worried. I, would, I could move in with my other units, but... I don't want to risk them running away too soon, I want to just beat the tar out of them. So, let's do that. Also, I'm taking out the capital so we can trigger um, a, new a new knight to come. Not for us though, it's going to be for them. Alright, let's do this. They go first. Because Leoness is not quite level 30 yet. Um, as you can see, this city is a little bit different. Um, the only thing you really need to note is that uh, the capital city is the capital city, so it has the uh, two hex um, castle here. But these walls are actual walls. Like if you have ground units, the only way you can enter is through these little gates here. But that's not really an issue because flying units are more. There's more. There's more flying units than non-flying almost, or maybe 50/50. But in any case, all the good units are flying. As always, I'm going to be doing, um, so the plan is, I'm going to take over this city, and I'll probably show off one fight of the uh, final area, just to show what the place looks like, and then after that I will off-screen um, any, any necessary grinding for the Dark Demon to get to become a Satan, and then also I'm going to try to gr quest grind just grind a bunch of quests, just pass my turns a bunch of times, maybe occasionally beat, them, beat some mechas up so they can uh, not build up units, and from there, um, see if we can get some, some more of the evolution items for the, um, the Seraph, see, so I can show off both those units. Um, both units are very similar to each other, um, stat-wise, and, st and stat and ability-wise, but I would like to show it off. I'm gonna get hit with Geno Thunder and stuff like that. Oh yeah, have I shown off Kish? He has a dark robe which increases defense. I think it also gives you resistance to dark. Um, he knows 10 spells. Yeah, 10 spells. He's kind of very similar to King Kai, but he doesn't know heal. Instead he knows react. So yeah, he's one of the units that knows react. Um, so he knows all the he knows all the Genos. Geno Flame, Thunder, and Frost. He also knows Exoblast. And that's about it. One of the four leaders of the Empire, he used to be the palace magician of Amekia, and often gave advice to the late king. However, ever since the rebellion, he has been supporting Zemeckis as if he was a totally different person. So there you go. I'll go ahead and buff you. How do you get over the wall? Maybe you can get off the wall from the other side? I don't know. Or it could be just because he's a huge unit. Ow. Yeah, go ahead and 
cast Protect on Gish. dangerous fight if I hold back. Which I mean, I'm already holding back and I only sent two knights. so many of them, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh yeah, Kator's gone, I think I mentioned that in the last video. So we don't have to worry about Kator anymore. Which is too bad, because he actually bothered to level hit him up to 30.
going to go ahead and cast Protect on our leader so she doesn't die. We've killed a dragon and a um, Fafnir. Or not Fafnir, um, a Fenrir. Geno Thunder. Okay, so they're staying in. Fortunately, he doesn't know heal, so I can't force him to just waste actions healing himself. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay, you regenerated. Oh, you go first. Gina Thunder. Yeah, we're going to do an area heal. And 
that's for you. Go around. See if we can take care of that fool. I don't really worry too much if I get petrified because I can still regenerate. Good, you missed. Don't think I can do enough damage though, that's the problem. I'll give it a shot. I do need to kill it since it can petrify, so, oh well. You can have the kill. Maybe it'll do tons of damage, who knows. He doesn't even have any... Oh, he has one monster left. He'll probably retreat. So, let's just kill him. Worry about him. The next time I see you, I will turn you into ashes with my magic. Oh, up. Anything else? Nah. Go ahead and cast React on the uh, Arc Demon just in case. I'm pretty sure they're going to retreat, so there's not much we can do. They lost uh, a decent amount of monsters. Okay, level 18. Some twos. There you go. So I need two more level ups on that uh, on that uh, art art demon. And we got a bunch of quests. Um, same stuff. Standing in front of a long. Uh, dark robe. Okay, takes it. And he got screwed. Like Ward's Quest. Dwarf. And talking animals. And... Got a Madonna's Rod, which is another cleric item. We've been getting ridiculous amounts of cleric items. To be honest, we've been getting really bad quests. Like, all we've been getting is like plus int. Nothing happening, or just bad items. We did get all, a lot of knights, but still it sucked. Go ahead and go in, and you got more int. Like I said, just more intelligence. There are some stat requirements for classes, but for the most part you don't really need to worry too much about them. Alright, so, usual stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and send these characters off. They are down to... Well, they have 17 monsters left now, because they have a lot of monsters all together, and another freaking Fenrir. So, yeah, the plan is I'm going to kill that Fenrir. 
Alright. Well, not much else to worry about. So let's go ahead and uh, execute the move. Well, actually, what we can do is move these units. We'll move them to here. Anyone else need to get three knights there? We can go ahead and send you guys on a quest. And there you go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and execute this move, and we're going to go ahead and do this next combat. Now the plan is, is I'm going to fight all the way to the end, but then I'm just going to retreat. So they'll get some XP out of it, but it doesn't really matter. So he has all of his monsters together now. As you can see, he has the Beastmaster with his three dragons. You have the Fenrir, you got all that. And we got Esmeralda as Elector. So this is good, that means we don't have to deal with any spellcasters. Oh, also, since we took the capital, this guy appears. His name is Shred. He's a level 20 champion. Yes. He has, starts out with an Ogre Knuckle, so he has a plus attack. His attack is actually really high. Um, he has a special combo for his uh, crit, and he gets plus 10% crit chance because he's a champion. It's uh, Champion is the approved form of the Grappler. It's pretty much the top of the Ranger tree. Overall, I don't think they're too great. They're way too much trouble to get. Cause Unlike other characters where you have ranged attacks or spells or something like that, this character can only rely on melee combat. And range, and you've seen my ranger, they don't have very much HP, so it's really hard to get them to this point. The only one of Zemeckis' troops who tried to stop the rebellion. He was captured by Kador and was imprisoned in Logar's castle. He was released when the castle fell. He had no choice but to join the Empire. He is one of the four leaders of the Empire. So there you go. That's Shred. He nev they never use Shred, though, because, quite frankly, a level 20 knight is nothing compared to the level, you know, 20 plus and 30s that they already start out with. Alright, so here's the plan. We're going to go ahead and attack with everybody. Yeah, I'm bringing Cortina. Main idea is to uh, shred the units. Unfortunately, I can't kill Zemeckis, which, because if it does, that ends the game. But yeah, as you can see, I attack from two fronts. Hey, Zemeckis, the dancer's back. So I'm gonna go have fun. Cortina's gonna arrive first, so... Which is fine, that means they'll probably gang up on her and try to, uh... And allow me to AoE them down. How much XP do you need? 11.58, okay. Killing a few knights can do that. As long as it's not some mechas. This video might go a little long because I'm doing two combats, but hopefully, uh... Yeah, it'll be alright, because then it'll, it'll be a time skip for, for you guys for, uh, what I do next. Because like I said, there's nothing much else to show. I mean, the only thing I can do is try to show every combat and every map, but there's no point in doing that. You fight where you need to fight. do is just keep um... 
I'll go ahead and send my Bahamut in front. Just in case. And you can go ahead and attack this clay golem. trying to make room for the other characters? I don't know. So yeah, after we slaughter all their monsters, they're not going to have much to uh, recover. I mean, they have one city, so they only get about 200 mana a turn. They can't even pay their upkeep at the moment. Alright, silence failed. Good, because I don't want to deal with that. I'm splitting their forces. That's fine. XP, I need it. There's not really any other monsters I can show off. I can try showing off, like, I mean, it's gonna take way too long to level up a golem. The golem actually has the most upgrades that, that are through leveling. It uh, turns it into a stone golem at level 10, turns it into a bronze golem at level 20, and then there's a last golem. Uh, I don't remember what type it is, that level 30. But good luck trying to get a freaking golem to level 30. And really all the golem, get, the, all the golem upgrades do is increase the range of the, um, the rock throw. Okay, looks like they're leaving Cortina all out. That's a little disappointing. Oh well. Oh good, I can still hit everybody. Alright, well, 
walls do some cleaning up. Not sure if I'm gonna spam meat or doom just yet. Funny how wyverns end up being the king of dragons. Alright, our turn. We need some healing. Those care Yeah, they already acted. Okay, so we should be fine. Alright. So
Level 30. So now she's max level. Okay, we should be alright. Just making sure I, you know, had enough health and stuff. So you got that much XP. Halo on our good old demon. And we'll do Feather Storm on this dragon. That bishop is going to probably cast area heal because everyone's nearly dead. Oh, 
Oh, you bastard. They're gonna try to kill that demon. If that happens, I'm restarting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll... Okay, you missed. That's good. Sorry for the slowdown. I think my MSN was causing it. Level 19. Area heal. Okay. Awesome, we go first. We win the interwebs. Alright. I can do another area heal, but I'm not. Okay, I am, because I don't have enough um, juice. <laughs> Tell you what. Divine Ray, Dragon. Dragon, meet Divine Ray. God, I nearly killed it. Sweet. Alright. We're level 19, we need 1261. Do you have enough for... Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and do Halo. Dino Thunder, awesome.
Of course. less slow down during combat. Let's go ahead and see about dealing with that dragon. Probably gonna retreat soon. Because unfortunately the mech is a pain to deal with since he's a ranged unit. No, 
That was probably bad positioning on my part. I should have put him in front. <laughs> Holy word. Well, she's fine till the end. That did nothing. Awesome, we go first. In that case, um, munch, munch, munch. I thought that I missed. It's not gonna stick around. You don't have any power left. 
you don't have any power left. I'm gonna go ahead and have you fall back. And you can move forward. Oh, I got three monsters left. I am out of MP though. a little annoying because I don't have any way to remove it now. So this will be the plan. Alright. Unfortunately I need to if I'm if I want any hope to actually kill some of these monsters I need to move up. It doesn't really matter, actually. Do I have enough for a react? I do, but it's not—it's not gonna matter. Okay, good to know. Let's uh, go ahead and retreat. Retreat back to Logris. Yes. We should be able to take a hit if they do attack first. She's almost level 20. Yeah, they have three monsters left. As much as I would love to kill all of them, I don't exactly have the means to do so. Unless I purposely delay a turn. Might be able to kill one more, though. Wow, Nemesis again. Almost there. Actually... How much attack money do you have? 143. Give it a shot. Magical stick, go! This thing's immune to charm, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you almost had it. Alright, come on, let's get this done with. Retreat, retreat back to Cadbury, yes. Okay, still focusing on her, that's fine. Whoa, I missed! I haven't seen that before. Okay, you're attacking my Pegasus, that's fine.
Alright, we might actually be able to finish everything off. Sorry for the very long video. Was it? I guess I should have split these, but whatever. Let's go up here. Kill you. But now I don't have to worry about them counterattacking, because they're not going to attack without any monsters. I mean, they'll get some monsters over time, but eventually they're not going to make any income. So they're kind of limited. be able to kill the mandrake as well. So yeah, we killed all their monsters. So I gave experience to Zemeckis who's already at max level, so no, no loss there. Alright, we're done. Let's go ahead and retreat. Go Zemeckis, you won! Pagamus quest. Oh, we already seen this one. This is the grindstone quest. You get plus strength. Tower again. They exploded. Lionel's quest, rabbit. Got a Solomon's ring. Okay, that's actually a decent ring. Kathleen's quest, dragon. And had not noticed. Dropped ice mail. That's the second time I've gotten ice mail. For a second, the dragon looked at Clock's eyes as if the as if the dragon was grinning. Clock left the area in a flash. Fortunately, the huge dragon could not enter the narrow valley, and Clock barely escaped. That's the other outcome for this uh, quest. It could, the dragon could spot you and then chase you away. No big deal, though. No, you don't, you don't get wounded for it. Small bottle of liquid. Gain agility. Tea's quest. Foggy forest. Found fa uh, flower. Gain int. Okay. Done, 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 and done. Alright, real quick. How much does it cost to get you to not enough room power? Okay, we need to fix that. How are we going to get... Okay, I know how to do it. Swap you out. Satan. Alright, let's upgrade. Just like the um, the Seraph, the uh, Satan's also a different uh, model altogether. Pretty cool looking model too. There you go, we got a Satan. They attack with their wings, with their normal attack, which is Dark Pleasure. Their crit is a, a kind of unique. It only does one damage, but it's 100% chance to cause paralysis. And then Nasty Needle is just like the wing version, just with needles instead of feathers. Um, they learn Necro Rebirth, which is a ability to revive a dead monster. This can be both from the enemy side or your side. So it can be very useful um, in some fights, but at this point in the game, it's pretty useless. Um, if you get it real early in the game, like, if you happen to start with a Vampire Lord, it can be very useful, because then you can just be like, okay, I kill your biggest monster, then I revive it for me. 
And the way Necro Rebirth also works is whatever monster gets revived, they're, uh, they only ha all their element orbs get replaced with just one black orb. So keep that in mind, I guess. Um, and then we got Meteor Doom, which you guys are very, very familiar with by this point. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get... Oh! You know what? Let's go ahead and use that item. Look, uh, Liquor of Charm changes a Satan to a Lilith. Okay, it's just a color. Uh, it's just a palette swap of this form. That's fine. And the uh, room cost is still the same, but the upkeep is higher. All right, and as a Lilith, they are now white, black, and blue. Um, their crit now has a hundred percent chance of causing uh, charm instead of paralysis, and they have ten spells. They know heal, divine ray, venom, meteor doom, curse, dimension, weakness, necro rebirth, frost, and charm. So overall, they learned a few extra spells. The Divine Ray is a really good one. So there you go. So I'm going to see about uh, getting the uh, Seraph into uh, and turning them into a um, Lucifer, and then we'll uh, call this good. So until then, everyone, I'm the Brestator, and this was Brigadine. Next video, I'll show you, hopefully, be able to show you a Lucifer, and then we'll beat the game. So see you guys next time.